Hey folks and welcome back to my channel. After popular demand, in this video I'll be demonstrating how you can live stream and make FPL content using Microsoft PowerPoint with OBS. Note this video is part of a playlist on how to make FPL content. So if you're specifically interested in learning how to make FPL videos just using Microsoft PowerPoint, be sure to check out my previous video. I've added the link in the description box below. In this particular episode, I will be largely focusing on the OBS side of things. Like my previous video, this is quite a lengthy tutorial, so I've structured the video into timestamps so you can quickly click on the relevant topics you're most interested in. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. For this demonstration, I will be using my latest OBS PowerPoint template. I can't lie to you guys, this template is pretty epic. Easy to use, fully customizable, with ready-made graphics and animations. What I particularly like about this template, it comes with useful charts for your stats analysis, heat maps, 3D team shirts, and many more. Plus, it's fully customizable so you can change the layout and theme to suit your brand. You can download the template by clicking the first link in the description box below. Okay, before I start, let's face it guys, if you really want to be successful in making an FPL channel, you need to take three things. One, upload consistently. Two, give good advice, or at the very least be entertaining. And three, have good graphics. I mean, it's no surprise the likes of FPL Tips, FPL Mate, FPL TV, or Let's Talk FPL have successful channels because they do all these three things very well. Huh. Unfortunately for me, I fell on number one and number two, but I do consider myself pretty good at number three. So I hope this playlist series helps others who are not so good at the editing or graphics side of things. Anyway, let's get back on topic. With your PowerPoint presentation selected and ready, the first thing we wanna do is import our presentation into OBS. For those of you who don't know, OBS is essentially a free open broadcaster software that allows you to video record and live stream. It's free to use and download, so make sure you have OBS installed on your PC. Now, there is two ways I recommend getting your PowerPoint presentation into OBS. The first method is via display capture, which I personally think is the best method. However, it works best if you have two monitor displays. For those of you who just have the one monitor, I would then recommend using the window capture. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate both methods. So for those of you who have two monitors, the first step is to ensure your PowerPoint file is in presentation mode and displayed on your second monitor. Then head back to OBS and select the plus icon at the button under sources. Scroll up and select display capture. This will capture all content on one of your display of your choosing. Hit okay and from here you can select the monitor in which your presentation is displayed on. Untick the capture cursor so your mouse cursor is not visible, then click okay to complete. Your presentation should now be on display. If for whatever reason, your presentation didn't go full screen, so for example, it looked like this, right click on it, go to transform, and go down to fit to screen. It should then resize and fit your presentation for you automatically. Next, for those of you who just have the one monitor, the method I would recommend is the window capture. To do this, first head back to your PowerPoint presentation. Under Slideshow, select Setup Slideshow. As you can see by default, the presentation mode is set up as full screen. However, we are going to want the presentation to be set up as an individual window. Thus, select the second option. Hit OK. Now when we select the presentation mode, the preview is now displayed in a separate window. Head back to OBS. Under source, click on the plus icon and then select window capture. Then in the drop down menu, scroll and select the PowerPoint window display. Then using the corner handles, resize the preview to fit the screen. 
However, you might want to increase the capture slightly to hide the browser tab above. This is one of the disadvantages of using this method. Once you have your presentation in place, the next stage will be to connect your microphone and add your webcam. Let's start with adding the microphone. To add your microphone, firstly make sure your microphone is connected to your PC or laptop. For good sound quality at a reasonable price, I would strongly recommend you getting the Blue Yeti microphone. Link in the description box below. Hit the plus icon under sources, then go to audio import capture. Call it whatever you want, and then select your microphone from the drop down menu. Then to complete, hit OK. It should pop up here in the audio mixer down the bottom and you can tell if it's working if the levels are fluctuating. Useful tip, to maximize your voice recording, click on the cog icon, go to filters, and then under filters, there should be a plus button. Here we're going to add two filters, which I promise you would generally make any microphone recording sound much better. The first filter is noise suppression, which basically helps reduce the background noise and makes your audio sound much cleaner. And the second filter is compressor. Compressor will make your audio sound even by eliminating any peaks in your audio. Then to complete, hit close. Now your audio setting is ready to record. With the audio setup now complete, the next stage will be to add the webcam. Again, like before, hit the plus button, go to video capture device, Make sure your webcam is physically connected before doing this. Give it a name, then hit OK. Via the drop down menu, select your webcam. Typically the default setting is pretty good. However, if you're not satisfied with the defaults, you can manually customize the settings. However, if you're unsure, I would advise you leave it at auto select. Then to complete, hit OK. Sometimes the webcam capture might be a bit off. If that's the case, right click, go to transform and select fit to screen. As you can see, I've got my webcam facing my shelves. Yes, you've guessed it, I'm camera shy. The next step will be to resize the webcam to fit this particular template. To do this, you simply grab the corners and drag to resize. Then position the webcam in place. Lovely. Now you can be seen, be heard whilst presenting your FPL content. So the last thing to do now is simply hit the record button. Simple. Next, I will now demonstrate how to live stream on YouTube with OBS. To live stream, you simply hit the live stream button. However, before we do this, we need to set up and connect OBS with our YouTube account. To begin with, open your YouTube account dashboard. Select create, then hit go live. This will take you to your live stream dashboard. Bear in mind you must have a verified YouTube account and you can only stream from a PC if you have less than a thousand subscribers. If you have more than a thousand subscribers, you can stream from a mobile phone and other devices. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is select edit. Here is where you can add the video title, description, thumbnail, tags and so on. In fact, to begin with, I would highly advise you do a private or an unlisted stream first. So this way you can make sure everything's working before going public. If you want to enable live chat for your viewers, you can so by checking the enable live chat under the live chat section. Once you're satisfied with your settings, to complete, press the save button. Next, in order to connect OBS with YouTube, you want to copy and paste your stream key to OBS. This stream key is unique to your channel, so make sure you keep this key to yourself. Do not share this. Otherwise, this gives someone else the ability to stream via your channel, and we definitely don't want that. Once you have your key, head back to OBS. Go to File, Settings, then below the General tab, select Stream. Change the service to YouTube. Keep the server as primary YouTube ingest server, then lastly, paste the string key into the string key box. Once you have that set up, to complete, hit apply, and to finish, hit OK. Then click start streaming, and that's all there is to it. 
Now you can live stream whilst presenting your FPL content using PowerPoint in the background. What's particularly cool about this template is the team shirts and the football pitch are 3D components, so you can create cool rotating animation. You can also present your player stats in greater detail using heat maps and animated charts. Because let's face it, there's a lot of FPL content creators out there, so it's important to try and differentiate yourself from the crowd. If you wish to download this particular OBS PowerPoint template, you can so by using the first link in the description box below. Full disclosure, this is a paid product, but I am running a 30% discount, which ends at the start of the new season. Just type in discount 30 in the checkout to activate the code. Click the first link in the description box below if this interests you. Before I leave, if you found this video useful today, show love by hitting the like button and consider subscribing for more. In fact, in my next video, I'll be demonstrating how you can make epic video intro. So stay tuned for that. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.